today, uh, I made a little bit of space on that shelf right there. Uh, I'm going to go through the car and get all this stuff out of here and get it somewhere out of the freaking way so we can get on this thing and then I'll probably go ahead and rip that rear bumper off and those taillights. And then, honestly, I think before I start sanding, blocking, painting, priming, hating my life for a little while, I'm going to rip that fender off, this front fender at least, and I will push this door back, get that aligned at the bottom and the rear, and then we will align the fender to the door just to make sure it's possible. Uh, this core support is like leaned in, so that needs to be adjusted very easily done. And then we'll work our way over to this door. <sighs> Get it lined up, squared up, straight with that rocker panel and the gap over here with the quarter. And then we'll get that fender adjusted. Then we will go to town with sanding, blocking, bodywork, spraying, all the fun stuff. Really, I mean, it's really not, this car is straight. It doesn't need that that much. It just needs motivation and time. And, uh, well, just got to get started. Anyway, this blue color here is not the factory color of this car. This car was like... Uh, I don't know, daisy and very yellow. But this is a very pretty blue that I think. I think we will be going back. Go to the color. Here's some hinges. We got heater courage. I don't know why I cut the whole transmission tunnel out. Um, that's not going to work though. I'll figure that out later. Probably will not use a single bit of wiring from this car. Okay. That is a passenger side uh, cowl vent. But if you can avoid taking these things out of the car, just leave them in there and fold this back and then paint. These suck. Okay, yeah, this is the other side of the heater core. Probably make a gasket or a felt or a, I don't know, some type of sealant goes on that. Who cares? Brand new battery tray and hold down. That's 6872 Chevelle. The nose piece. Let's take a look at it. In a few different colors, huh? That's iconic. I would say that right there. That is. I wonder if he wants that or if he wants that shaved. These are probably on the front bumper. These clips are awesome. This is a drive-by wire gas pedal. Uh, you know, somebody has got to tell me how to do that because I didn't do that. I used a cable, a throttle cable for my LS build. But this is an LS1 and I don't have the engine to look at, so I'm not sure what the throttle body is looking like. It's weird because when he got this car, it had an LQ4, which was not drive-by wire. This is, I don't know. What I'm looking at here, brake switch is broken. That's a clutch. Uh, that's the brake switch. I got a gas pedal. I don't know. Somebody tell me what I'm doing with this stuff because not quite there yet. I just want to get color on this thing, and then once that happens, 
uh, we'll just start putting stuff together and running wires and stuff. But I don't think this has to be a drive by wire, but I'm not, I'm not an LS1 guy. That is hood latch. I'm not using this, but I will, you know, I'm not going to throw it away, but I'm going to reuse these. If he wants to buy new ones, that's fine. The new ones suck. They're like plastic. They don't fit well. I just need the little clips that hold those on. Uh, gas pedal. Window tracks. Uh, radiator cover. That is a hood latch piece. Where it goes, nobody knows. These are good to have. Uh, this goes on the floor. That, uh, I don't know what that is. Chevelle, baby. So here, this is a parking brake cable. That's exactly what that is. This goes into the floor from the bottom. This, this goes above the window. Had to plug the phone in, but I did want to show the dash. Don't know. I don't know how this works. I'm not from here. 120 Speedo, Chevelle on the dash. Uh, missing this panel. If anybody has that. With the old cigarette lighter. Probably lit a joint or two. Condition switch. The radio, it's rare that this is in such good shape. This radio bezel part, because usually that's like tore up and crappy. I wonder what would be right here. What would be there? Something, an option this car didn't have or something maybe. This is Wallard. I mean, that's extra add-on stuff, something somebody did. But that's pretty neat, I think. I think it's in, it's in good shape. We'll clean it up, replace this. This is plastic. Replace that. Um... Paint it up. You get his new. All right. Next thing I'll do. I'm gonna take this bumper off. These tail lights. Uh, and I'm gonna do some evaluating on some body work. And these things are a pain. I'm gonna start with this door gap. You can see, not flush. Rubs here, and the gap is pretty inconsistent. I think really it needs to tilt in at the top, out of here at the bottom, and it needs to go like that. Set up here, and we'll, there's just no, nothing else to it. It's gonna have to come this way, and if it doesn't like it at the bottom, I'm gonna have to take some off of it. gonna drop. Don't know how much.
Okay. Count to self. Do not use an impact. So. Dang. I still got this door a little high. Do you see how close it is down there? I just can't get this door to flex and shift the way I want it to. This gap is not good. And you see how that door is higher than the quarter. Let's sit like that. Yeah, this door sucks, if I'm being honest. Doesn't fit very well, it's gonna take some tweaking on, but the fender to door fitment, it's a little wide in the middle, but if you tweak the bottom, it'll flex it up a little bit. So that can be worked on. Really, I just wanted to make it, I wanted to know that it was close or could be close before I started sanding, and prepping, and painting. The last thing you want to do is to put a door on and final paint and it's just not going to work, but that's good. 